Hello there, mathematician. Today, we are going to solve a problem that has two steps to it. Our I can statement is, I can solve two step word problems within 20. Our problem reads, there are four ladybugs on a leaf. Then eight more ladybugs landed on the leaf. Six of the ladybugs left. How many ladybugs are left on the leaf? So let's go through our three read strategy to figure out what it is this problem is asking us. So first of all, we want to know what is the problem about? Well, based on reading it, I learned that this problem is about ladybugs on a leaf. Let's read the problem again. There are four ladybugs on a leaf. Then eight more ladybugs landed on the leaf. Six of the ladybugs left. How many ladybugs are left on the leaf? What are we trying to find out? We are trying to find out how many ladybugs are left on the leaf. Let's read this one more time. There are four ladybugs on a leaf. Then eight more ladybugs landed on the leaf. Six of the ladybugs left. How many ladybugs are left on the leaf? What information is important? Well, I know that there were four ladybugs on the leaf. I also know eight more ladybugs landed on the leaf. And then I know that six of the ladybugs left. So there's a lot of information for us to cover. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so what should we do first? The first thing I wanna do is figure out how many ladybugs were on the leaf. Now, if you remember from our read through, we know that there were four ladybugs on the leaf and then eight more ladybugs joined them. So I know I need to start with four. Eight more ladybugs landed on their leaf. So that means more ladybugs are joining them, which means our number is going to get bigger. So I am adding. So I need to solve four plus eight equals unknown. And the unknown is how many ladybugs are on the leaf. I'm going to solve this by drawing a picture. So let me draw the four ladybugs. One, two, three, four. Now I need to draw eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, okay. Well, I can see a group of 10. So there's 10 and then two more. So 12. Okay, so there are 12 ladybugs on the leaf. But... We need to read on because it then goes on to say that six of the ladybugs left. All right, so I'm going to start off with another drawing here. Um, so let's first of all figure out the equation. So remember that we have that 12. That's how many ladybugs are on the leaf. But now six of them left, which means they're going away. So I'm going to be subtracting six. The unknown is going to be how many ladybugs are left on the leaf. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm left with five and one more. Five and one is six. I could double check that by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that there are six ladybugs left on the leaf. Now, let's try solving this again, but in a different way. So I'm going to clear my screen. This time I want to solve it by using a number line. So I'm going to draw an open number line here. 
Now remember, the first part of it, we have to solve four plus eight. And that tells us how many ladybugs are on the leaf. So if I start at four and I add eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I count on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I can draw another open number line for the second part of the problem. So remember, we have 12 ladybugs on a leaf and we learned that six of the ladybugs left. So 12 take away six will tell us how many ladybugs are left. So this time I'm subtracting, so I have to go backwards. So I'm going to put 12 at the end of my number line and now take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. The 12 take away is six, which means six ladybugs were left on the leaf. All right, mathematicians, are you ready to give this strategy a try? Good luck.